Esekai is an ongoing trend in manga, so here are my top 10 Esekai mangas. They aren't in any particular order and I'm sure that the list will keep growing in as Esekai continues to be my favorite genre. For those who don't know what an Esekai is, it's a genre focused on traveling to another world. The reason behind it can be anything from reincarnation to sheer dumb luck. But for this list, we'll only be looking at series which depict people traveling to another world. So, let's get started. Added. Number 10. Lonely Attack on a Different World Haruka is just your average high school loner, minding his own business and keeping to himself as he makes it through his high school year. Until one day, he's suddenly sent to another world alongside the rest of his class. Before he knows it, he's face to face with the god of his new world, who presents him with a list of cheat skills to choose from. But there's a catch. It's first come first served and his classmates have already beaten him to the punch. Haruka has to make do with what he can to get to, you know get to wherever he wants to go because he's going to navigate his way through the brave new world, all while flying solo. It's a pretty generic Esekai story to be honest, but it's also sometimes a little cringy, but it's decent though. Number 9. Her Majesty is Busy Waking up finding myself in the body of an empress? No worries, just keep calm and put my swagger on. I have watched enough Game of Thrones to know how empresses act. However, the script I'm given seems problematic. Shouldn't I be a villain empress hated by all? Why is his majesty looking at me with that reminiscing look? Art is what makes you think that these men are beautiful than anyone in the real world. It's reverse harem and world ruled by females. She's not stupid and weak. This way is better as well. Check it out. Number 8. Cultivation Return on Campus I really like this manga so far. The art is nice and the story is also nice, but the problem is, with a translator, please hire someone who can translate properly. He died in his past life because of an imperial concubine and was born again in the high school era. And it coincides with the recovery of the aura and great changes in the world. When Rejun- Wait, 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 is this what I think it is? Oh, it's- ah, Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Take a break for a second. This is one of those mangas that I generally like a lot. It's personally one of my favorites. I was just reading it and I was like, whoa, I remembered. Anyway, he's rejuvenating as a teenager and he will follow the path of his journey and he will protect his own friends and loved ones. The manga has more than 200 plus chapters, y'all. Hurry, you got another long running manga. Number seven, slow life in another world. I wish. By the will of the goddess, Itsuki Shinomiya was given the privilege of choosing various abilities and being reborn in another world. However, before going to the other world, he didn't want to involve himself in a scary, dirty, gross thing like battle. Fiercely and determined to live a slow life, he chose the unique skill, pocket money, giving him an amount of money once per day. With this, I can hang out with girls without having to work. Dreaming of avoiding battles and living with cute girls? Suki stepped into the other world, but the reality was not that simple. Getting attacked by giant bugs, getting caught up in arguments at the guild, and getting stuck with slaves? Yeah. In the end, will Itsuki be able to live his ideal slow life, using unique skills and manufacturing skills? An exciting other world slow life with beautiful girls starts now. Number 6. There's no such thing as the wilderness route. Not in my book. Our MC is reincarnated into the world of an Atom game as the villainous Ophelia. I thought I'd be able to enjoy a peaceful life in school, but to my dismay, I found myself subjected. Yep, subjected to constant harassment at the hands of the wicked, vindictive heroine. And to top it all off, I'm plunging headlong into the dreaded bad ending. Hold up, as if I'd meekly submit to such a fate. If that's how it's going to be, I'll tap into the top secret cheats known only to those who've played the game and carve out the villainous route of my fantasies. But for some unfathomable reason, the capture targets seem to be dotting on me far more aggressively than in the original story. Really nice plot and story, so check it out, man! Number 5. Who Made Me a Princess? 
an interesting way to tell a story. From all the stories I've read about a woman reincarnating as the princess of another world, this is, with no doubts, the best one of them. The beautiful Antanasia was killed at the hands of her old biological father, Cloud de Alger Obelia, and the cold-blooded emperor. It's just a silly bedtime story until one woman wakes up to suddenly find that she's become that unfortunate princess. She needs a plan to survive her doomed fate, and time is running out. Will she go with a plan A? Live as quietly as possible without being noticed by the infamous emperor? Or plan B? Collect enough money to escape the palace? Or will she be stuck with plan C? Sweet talking her way into her father's good graces? It's definitely worth reading! Number 4. Living as a Tyrant's Older Sister If there's one thing that ruins a good story, it's the cliché handsome prince. Lame, damsel in distress, yawn, knight in shining armor, depends. How good is he in bed? Wait, huh? Uh, okay. Well, Yuna Han is out to make sure her sister's story is anything but a cliché. Only now she'll have to live inside of it, and luckily she plays a fairly minor role. Her only crime is that... well... Let's put it simply, the crime is being uh, the main villain, and her older sister, dun dun dun. But can't she manage to save both her sister's story and her own neck before we reach the final page? Conclusion? Yep, I'm excited and hooked. Number 3. The Great, Great Immortal This manga as an asakai is very fun to read and has a rather strong start. In the previous life, he was a peerless genius in the world of immortality, he was killed by three celestial beings. He was accidentally reborn to his twenties by the Book of Heaven. All he wanted to do was to become an immortal and return to the immortal world, and he became the strongest man on the earth, turning his hands into clouds and covering his hands with rain, provoking anyone who defies him. He is the Venerable One, the ruler of 3,000 worlds, the guy who is 10,000 times stronger and better than Thanos. He is Tokshin Taizun, the Great Immortal! Number 2. Failure Frame Seeing how it goes so far, I can safely say that this is a good manga. Taka Mimori and his classmates are abruptly catapulted into the fantasy world summoned by the resident goddess to serve as heroes. The good news? Most of the students display amazing skills upon arrival. The bad? Memory is the worst of the lot, bottoming out at a measly E rank. Incensed, the goddess tosses him into a dungeon to die, but it turns out that the memory skills aren't so much worthless as they are abnormal. Abnormally powerful, perhaps. Overall, it's a pretty good story, and the story is kind of okay too. I mean, it's just fine. It follows the lines of the manga Dungeon Seeker. Now, the art is not what you expect when you look at the front cover, but it's still decent. Number 1. Crimson Karma Of course, the story is super interesting. I would recommend you all to read it if you haven't. So if I were you, I would stop whatever I was doing and start reading. Cassia del Roman is a soldier crafted to become an assassin. She lost her human emotions long ago and lives her life as a simple tool, just to be thrown away in her final moments. She couldn't even die a proper death and she was just... <sighs> this is pretty sad. Well, she opened her eyes to see a battlefield of a different world. Will she live the same life she did in her original world? The story is super interesting, and the whole overpowered female knight demeanor pulls me into the story and makes me love Cassia even more. It's way much more. And honestly, I can't wait for more chapters. That's all for today, hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, then give this video a like and share it with your friends and your family, and subscribe for more top 10. Stay safe and take care. My name is Zita Khan and I'm the voice of the voiceless. See you next time.